What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. <clears throat> Here with Borrego, Borrego CPR. Um, today we're going to talk about this pocket mask that I bought at uh, Amazon, and we're also going to talk about these. Uh, they're called Cracky Shields. These are for CPR whenever you're going to give a breath or breath to the person that you're rescuing or the victim, the patient. You might want to use one of these things so you don't actually put your mouth. There's an actual barrier between you and the patient. That way they're not going to be passing any uh, virus that they might have, respiratory infection or anything like that. You want to remember you want to keep safe whenever you're going to help someone because if you can't, if you're not safe, how can you help others if you haven't helped yourself, right? So to begin with, this is just a simple CPR mask that I bought on Amazon. It wasn't more than 10 bucks. And uh, it's a mask with a one-way valve. Um, <clears throat> the one-way valve means, here you go, opening that bad boy. I'm pretty sure it comes with a CPR mask for dummies. Um, this one-way valve means that when you breathe into the patient, the air obviously is going to go into the patient's lungs, your air from your lungs, but the patient's not going to be able to be breathe be breathing back into you or your lungs so whatever infection they have like I just mentioned is not going to be passed on to you so it's important that you carry this because um, of course you don't want to get sick especially with this COVID-19 going around so the way you use this is you seal the mask against the face using the bridge of the nose um, that's kind of going to be the guide that you want to make sure you're in the correct position and then you're going to be resting in the bottom of the mask uh, along the chin and creating a seal <clears throat> you want to place the thumb of your other hand along the lower edge of the mask i guess kind of like this i would rather hold it this way well i guess if you're standing this way you can be holding it with your thumb pressing that seal and then it's going to be pressing against the bony part of the chin or the jaw uh, so you want to open the airway by using the head tilt chin lift. That way you want to make sure that there's no obstruction here. Uh, the obstruction can be coming from the tongue itself that's falling into the back of the airway. And that's going to be causing for, the, causing for the patient not to be able to get air into the trach and into the lungs. And causing the patient not being able to breathe. So we're just doing with this simple head tilt chin lift maneuver. Still managing to maintain the seal. You're going to... Open the airway. <clears throat> uh, you're going to be giving two two rescue breaths, two rescue breaths, and then you're going to be making sure that there's adequate chest rise and fall, and that way you're going to be knowing or gauging yourself that you are giving the adequate respiration that the patient needs. I'm going to do a demonstration first with this one, and then we'll move on with this little practice shield. So it's just going to be real simple, a head tilt chin lift, and then like I said, you're going to be breathing into the patient, just like so. Uh oh. So that's two rescue breaths, that's going to go together with the compression, the 30 to 2 compression ratio. Um, <clears throat> if the patient uh, still has a heart rate. And all you're doing at this point would be rescue breathing because you don't need to do the compressions because the heart rate is still, the heart is still working, still pumping blood. So the only thing you're gonna be doing is gonna be the rescue breathing, breathing for the patient. So when you breathe for the patient, you're gonna give one breath every five to six seconds. That's gonna be 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Uh, that's when dealing with adults and an infant or a child of maybe this, this size, this weight you can bring it down to three to five breaths or one breath every three to five seconds uh, and that would give you a 12 to 20 breaths per minute you want to be checking the pulse every two minutes make sure he's still maintaining that heart rate because you want to be breathing for the patient and just focusing on the rest of breathing and then eventually they lose the pulse and you're not going to be catching that because you're not going to be checking uh, and we'll, we'll see how you check the pulse. We'll do that, leave that for another video. This is just wanted to talk about the mask, the pocket mask, and the rescue breathing. Or if you're going to use in conjunction with the CPR, it would be a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. Uh, and then continuing for five cycles. 
reassessing the pulse every time. I'm trying to get some uh, editing software, so excuse the ums and ands, but um, that'll be in the future. So this is like the plastic shield. This is kind of like the same thing. It also has this one-way valve, and then it just has a diagram on how are you going to place this on the patient's face. With this one, since the child, uh, just the anatomy, your, your mouth might be bigger than the child's. You want to um, pinch the nose. That has to do with the anatomy, right? Pinch the nose so when you breathe into the mouth, the air is going straight into the trach, into the lungs, and not escaping through the nose. And also, you want to reposition the head, head tilt, chin lift. Uh, make sure there's no nothing obstructing the airway. And just breathe into the patient again just like we did right now you're going to be looking for that chest rise and fall make sure it's coming uh, up and down adequately don't do forceful breaths you want to be forcing your breaths into the child because of course you might have bigger lungs than the child and you just need to get just enough so let's try this again so the breaths you're going to be delivering uh, over one second so you're gonna be breathing for one and then make sure the chest is rising and falling um, and that's pretty much it uh, check the pulse every two minutes make, make sure that you don't you don't want to lose that pulse because then you have to advance to the basic life support which includes the compressions uh, again for the rescue breathing or the patient still has a heart rate you just want to breathe for them one breath every five to six seconds if it's an adult if it's a child or pediatric it's going to be one breath every three to five seconds i always tell the people that come and take my class i mean there's a common denominator there which is five if you want to just kind of focus on the five breaths or the one breath every five seconds i mean it works it's within the guidelines of the american heart association revised 2015 um and that's about it guys stay tuned for more videos i know these videos are supposed to be longer at least 15 minutes but it's a start all right so just um stay tuned and thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe